All right, y'all. I forgot to um, record this part of the video yesterday, so I'm just gonna tack this on on the beginning of the video, and then we'll roll into Vlogmas Day 16. But I wanted to announce the winner of the Zara gift card for giveaway number one, and it goes to, drum roll please. <laughs> Instagram name is censored underscore, AKA Sunny the Purser. Congratulations to you. Send me a message. Um, let me know where to send it to and I will get that directly to you. And you all can look forward to Vlogmas tomorrow for me to announce the second giveaway and what the questions will be, okay? Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 16. I am Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. All right, y'all, I'm still in Atlanta. Daddy's snoring. I'm about to run out and run some errands, aka give me some clothes. Um. But I need to pull today's good deed. So I remember on Vlogmas Day 1, I said that I was going to do 12 days of Christmas, 12 good deeds of Christmas or whatever. So yesterday I pulled tape, changed to a vending machine. Let's see what I get today. And then while I'm out and about, I'll try to get both of them done. So, okay. This one says, support a small business. Okay. I can do that. I already planned on going to this restaurant that's not a chain restaurant, so technically that's a small business, so check that off the list. Yay! How much change is enough change? Like, four quarters? Can that, Let's just go with $1.50, because vending machines are kind of expensive nowadays. At least $1.50 you can get a can of Coke. Or some honey buns. <laughs> and while I'm here in front of the computer, I might as well go ahead and um, do reason for the season Bible verse y'all I just feel like I have looked so bummy like half of that vlog yesterday I looked so rough I was so ashamed to post it but this is real life <laughs> I looked so rough I was like oh my god Alexia but life goes on okay so I got a dollar fifty in coins um, daddy, how do I do this? Like, I wish I had like those small little vanilla envelope pouch things. I don't have that. Um, maybe I'll just like, can I find a sticky note? My daddy is like turning into like a hoarder or something. There's so much stuff up here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. Reason for the season Bible verse today is Luke one well we ended with 80 yesterday let me see what today is all right so luke 2 1 through 12 titled the birth of jesus in those days caesar augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire roman world and everyone went to their own town to register so joseph also went up from the town of nazareth in galilee to judea to bethlehem to the town of david because he belonged to the house in the line of david he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over the flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all of the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Amen. Jesus is born. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, y'all, I really, like, I was supposed to take a trip to Israel this summer. It got planned, and then it got canceled, then it got planned, and then it got canceled again. Um, and I was so excited about it because all... These towns that they just listed, I was supposed to tour them and all of that. So, maybe I will do that for my birthday. No, no I'm buying a house for my birthday. Um, 
maybe I will do it. I, I don't know. I really want to do it in 2019 sometime, like take a summer trip or something. So fingers crossed, because that really just got me excited about really like going to visit and, you know, seeing all these places. Like how awesome would that be? Who wants to go with me? Don't comment too quickly. Who wants to go? <laughs> all right, let me wrap this change up and we can get out of here. Okay, so this is what I did, y'all. I found a little plastic baggie in my daddy's hoardness. And I wrote a little note that says, Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. And then I'm going to put pay it forward and put that there. And then put that on a vending machine, right? I think that's good enough. Yeah, heck yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> okay, let's see what they got in here. How cute is that sweater? Somebody tell me I need it. I need an ugly sweater, ugly Christmas sweater party to go to. Aww, it's only twenty dollars. So adorable. How about these? Right, I have them in my hand. I need new layover socks. Like these are what I just throw on and like walk around in and sleep in because my feet are always cold. I love them. Or should I get like no? Nah. I was thinking maybe I'll get like a colored one, but then they get they'll show all the dirt real easy. Even though these white ones are super cute too. You know what though? I do have a few um, Secret Santa, you know, them little games you pay, play during the holidays when you buy gifts. Not for anybody in particular, just a gift. I need to get a few though. So maybe I'll get the white ones and decide. Yeah. And some other stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I think for Friends Miss, I should get like socks and like like little pampering type things right maybe like an eye mask would somebody really use that though hmm a neck whip i think that's a cute idea the idea that i have in my mind but i just have to find things that i would want to put in the bag I remember that makeup bag that I bought from Ulta the other day, the green one. I think I like this one better because it actually like stands and I can see what's in there. Okay, I just don't like these colors. Let's see if we can find a different color. Too much pink. I know the holidays is like the worst time to shop because people just don't have no manners. Like everybody's in a rush, you know, trying to get this. And it's like if I'm standing here in the middle of the lane, you know, you still need to use, I'm going to scooch over because I see you, but you still need to use your manners and say, excuse me. Like, they just rather walk around and go the whole other way without without saying excuse me. And I'm just like, really? Is, is it that hard? Like, for real? <laughs> Guys, heading to Walmart. We had a little episode when I got back from shopping, or actually my shopping was interrupted because my uncle came over looking for my daddy. When answering the phone, knocking and banging on windows, he wouldn't wake up. So, anyways, had to rush back, and my daddy had a little episode of low blood sugar. Hold on, y'all. Look what I'm doing. Yay. So, we ended up calling the, the paramedics again. Y'all, yeah, everything's all good. We're at Walmart. We're gonna go grocery shopping. <laughs> all right, y'all. It has been a heck of a day. Oh, emotionally up and down, just trying to get daddy not to be stubborn but enjoying bonding with my father um so i just went and picked up food and i supported a small business it's called kunk seafood i'm gonna go and eat it and see if y'all like it my father lives in stone mountain georgia which is like a suburb or whatever of atlanta or outside of atlanta whatever so if you're from atlanta and you know the area or whatever you can come try it out if it's good or not i guess whatever um, but yeah, so I did my two good deeds for the day and y'all are probably like, Alexa, why are you even still doing that? Y'all, because I love Christmas. Like it's literally my favorite holiday outside of my birthday, but this one is first because if it wasn't for Jesus, I wouldn't have no birthday. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so I just like, I just want to like somehow keep my spirits up and stay in the the holiday mode so just doing these little things is just really helping me with that like mentally because other than that I would think about all the problems that we currently have right now and I just don't want to be down like that like I do not 
I do not like feeling like that, not one bit. So, yeah, I'm going to keep doing it. We're going to keep reading these Bible verses. We're going to do 12 good deeds of December, of Christmas, or whatever. Ooh. And Georgia, I don't know why y'all don't have no street lights. It's so dark out here. But anyways, just pulled back up to the apartment. So, I'm going to go eat, and then I'll let y'all know how it tastes, y'all. I ate the food and forgot to show y'all, but it was good. Um, but I'm about to get ready to go to sleep. I have to work out tomorrow. I did end up buying some workout clothes so I can at least just go for a run, clear my mind. Like, I really feel like I could run 10 miles tomorrow and just, like, relax. Like, running is just good. Running is just a good time just to think, have a clear mind no noises, you know, so yeah, I'm probably gonna, I ain't gonna run 10 miles, I can't run 10 miles, but I am gonna go work out tomorrow, because I just, I, I need it, like, I can feel it, like, my body is, like, feeling weird, anyways, daddy is out there, I'm about to make him go to sleep, because it is, well, I'm trying to look for, it is 10, I can't read it upside down, it's 10, 14 p.m., and the goal is before I leave to try to get him on a better sleeping schedule. I think I was mentioning this earlier, but my brain has been all over the place. My father has always been a bad sleeper, at least like the times he sleeps. From when I was a little girl, going to bed 1, 2 a.m. and waking up, you know, late in the morning. But just as he's gotten older and retired, you know, he just sleeps longer and... Anyways, that was the issue that we had this morning. He didn't go to sleep last night until like 4 a.m. or 4 a.m. this morning. Anyways, he didn't get into bed till 4 a.m. And then um, he got up, had a little, you know, water or something, but didn't eat, went back to sleep, and then I left. And um, when my uncle came is when, you know, he was like knocked out and, God forbid this ever happens, but basically almost in like a diabetic coma. I've witnessed it before. My little cousin went through it um, Christmas morning like four years ago, and it's terrifying to see. So anyways, long story short, I'm just trying to get him on a better schedule so he can wake up in the morning, make sure he eats so his, his blood sugar can be good, and I don't have to stress, but I'm just praying my way through it, y'all praying my way through it so at this point like I was saying yesterday I had all intentions of like trying to go back to work Wednesday but if I don't have this like figured out before then like because what I really want is somebody to and it just sounds crazy it's like you're 70 you're not that old but you know when you're stuck in your ways and you've done things for so long you've been so independent it's really hard for him to want to accept help and I get it but he don't have a choice. Like, now it's like the the roles have been flipped. You listen to me now, okay? Okay, daddy? You listen to Alexia and, and Shara and Andre and Coretta. You listen to your children and your siblings and your friends. Because we're all preaching the same thing to him. You know, and he's he's receptive of it. But it's like he wants to be able to find his own help. Um, but I'm not trust trusting the help that he's wanting to, to have come. So I got to set it up on my terms because I'm the only one that can fly in and out of here on the drop of a dime. So we going to figure this out. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to go to bed, watch some TV and call it night. So, good night. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share it. Until tomorrow. Bye.